Hi guys, welcome back to the channel today for another golfing video. I hope you're all doing well. So as you can see, we're having another look today at uh, EA Sports' upcoming golfing game, uh, PGA Tour, um, which is due to launch next week. I believe it's the fourth if you get the deluxe version, uh, which you can get it a couple days earlier than the standard edition, which is going to be launched on the seventh, I believe. Believe. So what we're doing here today is they're just basically showcasing... Um, a few holes here with uh, Apex Hound, who I believe is a YouTuber. Um, I think they're doing nine holes at Pebble, and then they're doing nine holes at Sawgrass. I think the Pebble Beach round is played on a very, very easy difficulty level with all the horrendous-looking ball tracer arcs and the putt preview cameras, all that nonsense. And then I believe the Sawgrass round afterwards is, is played at a slightly more difficult um difficulty preset yeah, kind of, uh, um although it did confuse me a little bit because um apex hound was playing without a putt preview and the developer was playing with a putt preview the ball arcs and the traces and all that were still on um but a few things were absent from it um so that's the second nine that they do now unfortunately as beautiful as this game seems to look i mean visually the course looks superb i mean the grass looks beautiful the lighting effects look beautiful um some of the characters look very very good jordan spieth here as you can see uh looks pretty decent but then there's the other side of that which you get some laughable looking characters i mean fortunately for us the uh the developer here is playing with scotty scheffler uh you will see it after jordan plays his shot now scotty scheffler looks ridiculous i'm gonna put that right out there straight away he looks so bad it's comical how bad scotty scheffler looks now if i was him <laughs> i wouldn't be happy being portrayed as he is in the game um it looks like they've literally lifted so here's scotty scheffler um it looks like they've literally lifted his character model out of the sims 4 and uh and put him in the game you're probably going to see it in a minute i think if from memory i think once this ball stops it focuses on scotty scheffler um and you'll see how bad he looks he, he, he looks it looks ridiculous i'm probably i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna pause it i'm gonna pause that right there <laughs> what's going on with that character <laughs> and while, we, while we've paused it on this screen here when are these golf games going to give you animations that um accurately reflect the kind of shot that you've just played so he's just literally played his uh second or third shot into a par four he's literally off the green he spun about 50 feet away from the hole and he seems like he's really really happy with the outcome um you know he's loving life he's waving to the crowd he's smiling i mean this is where he finished do you honestly think a pro would be happy with that outcome i mean when are we going to get some some accurate animations in these games i mean come on developers come on come on it's 2023 but anyway um so yeah, like I was saying, some of the character yeah, modeling yeah, looks so absolutely uh, atrocious. Uh, looks really, really bad. Um, I was planning on making this video quite long, but because of how, I don't know, how bad the video was, the quality was bad. I didn't really think the interaction between Apex and the developer was all that great. It, it, yeah, it, it didn't, really, <laughs> didn't really work for me. He seemed more interested in playing golf, Apex did, than uh, actually talking to the developer. Um, so it could have been done in a different way, but you know, that's for a, that's for another story, another video possibly. But what we're going to do is we're going to move on here. I mean, I'm still not a fan of all of the, uh, the, the UI down here in the bottom right. I think it's very intrusive. Um, so Scotty Scheffler gets a par there. What I'm actually going to do as well is, right, Scotty Scheffler's on the tee here, guys. Now, this is a perfect opportunity for me to make two points, um, which again, I think it's terrible. I it's laughable how bad this is. So this is Scotty Scheffler on the tee. Now for the first thing I'm going to focus on is the sound effects. Who on earth modelled the sound effects in this game? It either sounds like everybody's golf on PlayStation One or PlayStation Two, or it sounds like you're watching an Indiana Jones movie and he's literally cracking off his whip. Have a listen to this, guys. Have a listen to these sound effects. I'm going to shut up here. All right. So, um, it, you know, the dispersion when you're swinging harder. Here we go. Like in real life, uh, you know, it's, 
uh, if you get after it, you're going to have a um, larger margin of error. What and the hell is that sound um, effect? But of course, the and, reward and here on a par five, right? If you catch And the sound effects look just, uh, sorry, sound just as bad when you're playing pitch shots, shots for the fairway. They don't sound nothing like ball on club face. They do, they are terrible. Absolutely shocking. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing I want to talk about here. The second thing I want to talk about is I was under the impression that these swings were being accurately mo-capped from each pro that you see. Now, this is um, Scotty Scheffler's the, swing, you know, apparently. Harder just in, like, Where's the life, Scheffler uh, shuffle? You know, it's, uh, if you get after it, you're gonna that's have, not Scotty um, Scheffler's swing. It's, it's a good swing, error. but that's not Scotty uh, Scheffler. Yep. Where's his dancing feet, yeah? Where is his dancing feet? Scotty Scheffler's all over the place with a driver on a tee box. It's just not accurate. I'm sorry. But of course, um, the but that's another thing. I, five, I, right? if you catch the first thing that sort of you know hit me when I when I watched Scotty Scheffler here kind of jumped out at me straight that, away. That golfers are actually. About. Yes, my risk did not pay off because I. I'm going to let you listen to this one as well off the fairway. Yeah, so the sound of the so the ball strike and the club off the fairway as well. Listen to this, guys. On my second shot here, I got ten feet up the hill, but the wind's helping a little bit, so. Um, so I noticed I have a hack shot here as well when I'm in the rough. Is that so? He's yeah, coming from the rough. That's an Listen to this. To have. So like as we've gone to these different courses, uh, like we we're playing Bay Hill for example. And what is that thud? thud? Um. Yeah. No. I. No idea. Uh, but he hits really right, far. so I've kind of fast um, forwarded so it on yeah, a little bit here in the video, guys. Just want to move on to this hole, just so you can see these uh, these beautiful yeah, visuals. I mean, I've styles, never seen Pebble yeah. Beach represented and we'll so it nicely fast, slow, in a like, golf game. Kind of go right or left, right? Now, so this is actually which, way it goes, which direction it goes. Yeah, there's no kind of all over this. This this actually um, confused me really here. Hard. Listen to what this guy um, so says me, here. So playing with him, but if you want to be a bit more in control, this was interesting. You know, kind of. And then I'll touch on with it when the question's been answered. And will hitting it fast or slow, like, that will make it kind of go right or left, right? Is it randomized which way it goes, which direction it goes? Yeah. So he's basically asking him if you um, swing the the club too fast or too slow, um, is, the mar is the error shot, is the bad shot going to go left or right, you know, as we normally see in most video games. And the answer that the developer gave left me a little bit scratching my head. So it sounds as if you just pick... The way that your bad shot is going to go and then if you either swing it slow or swing it fast it will still go that way i might have misinterpreted how he how he answered this question but to me that's how it sounds have a little listen to this yeah there's no random so each player has a profile um there's no random so like if i'm playing a scotty he's naturally kind of a little bit of a fade guy um and so and you can actually choose if you want to be draw biased or, or fade biased um with your character as well um, but yeah, there's no, no randomness on like on the actual swing mechanic or anything. It's just kind of based on your profile. So there's no randomness on the swing mechanic. It's based on your profile. So does that mean you can't miss a ball left or miss a ball right if you set up your character to miss it one way or the other? Um, that was a little bit confusing to me. Um, but yeah, something I'm definitely worried about. Also, so Apex is just taking his shot here. Now, we are playing, I guess, on a slightly easier mode. But this is a little bit alarming here down on the um, on the feedback. So that's obviously Apex's swing there. You can see that there is about as straight as an arrow. Um, now, I'm hoping that is just because they're playing on a slightly easier difficulty. Kind of a little bit of a but he's guy. literally just um, smoked so, one dead straight on the stick. Choose if you want to now, I know he uses a... I think he uses a PlayStation 5 controller. Um, with your character um, as well um, so he's hit that yeah, one no, dead no straight on like on the actual swing mechanic and then this one here so is exactly the off. same cool. so two absolutely arrow like perfect up down swings i just hit the stinger there it's up the hill crazy because uh so here we go again because how much up the hill it goes uh, it's about as straight as it goes right approach. i'm gonna go for a like there's no there's no <laughs> I don't know. That's an albatross. Go in. <laughs> Think oh. of that what you will, but hopefully that's just take down a, to take an eagle. the difficulty that they're playing on here. Ooh, your one's running through. Uh, he yeah. seems quite happy that with that. I mean, like I said, Jordan looks Jordan looks pretty good, I thought. Again, I'm not a fan of all that down the bottom right. I don't like the way... So, okay, this is this is a good place to stop. Not sure about the uh, 
the stance of the putter there. Um, I don't know many golfers that hold a putter like that. <laughs> uh, that seems a very wedge-like position there. Um, the, as you can see, the putter heads. I mean, I'm I, I'm pi really, really picking at details here. I mean, to be honest with you, but you know, I'm a golf purist. I love my golf video games. Things that stick out to me straight away. Um, you'd never see a, a a pro with the putter sticking it up. The, the 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 heel. Sorry, the toe of the putter up in the air like that. Uh, that putter would be grounded, and they definitely wouldn't be holding that like a wedge. Um, yeah, so, yeah, like I said in my previous video, I don't really like the pattern animations. It looks a bit kind of wacky. Baby. Oh, boy. Um, All right, I'm going to keep that just, lead for now. Everything, I'm, I mean, I'm worried. The long and short here, guys, the long and short of this video is, like I said, I'm going to keep this pretty short because I haven't been impressed with what I've seen. I think it's, um, I, I'm worried. I'm really worried. I'm not impressed with it. I'm totally unimpressed by it. Um, it's... Beautiful visuals, glossy, vi glossy visuals, but beyond that, my goodness me, there, there seems to be just so much average about this game. It really, really does, and I worry. It's very, to me, it looks incredibly arcadey right now. The sounds are arcadey, the animations are arcadey, the swing stick looks arcadey, all of the feedback you get on the screen. It is just an EA game, and that worries me. I just think... Uh, Possibly 2K23 is just going to be a better golf game. It's going to have more content. Obviously, you've got thousands of courses to play in uh, EA. Uh, sorry, in um, 2K23 PGA Tour um, with the designer. There's, I don't think there's any designer in here. I think they're launching with 30 golf courses. So it's going to get boring. The content's going to be pretty thin on the ground. Um, Okay, but yeah, I mean, I mean maybe maybe lead. I can save you Johnny guys Shepard a little bit of money. I will be buying this I game. And I will pitch. be playing it on Wednesday. Yeah, I will be streaming it all day bit. Wednesday as well. So maybe I had a lot of green to work with check there. out the channel if you want uh, to check out the channel. See what I think on the day. Maybe it'll be like a little bit different when I've got the game in my own hands. Um, I I yeah, I don't know. I've been very very unimpressed with this this video. Just the way everything was done. What I've seen. So yeah, I was hoping. I was hoping things were going to well. be better today. Yeah, I've said to uh, if you like your arcade game, uh, your arcade golf, then I think this will be perfect for you. I'm just very worried for the guys that like to play this a lot more realistically than than all of these, you know, shot traces and arcs and putt previews and spin boost and all this sort of stuff. So I'm a little bit worried on that sort of side of it. But yeah, do check out the channel on Wednesday. Like I said, I will be streaming it. Um, hopefully, it's better. But like I said, these first impressions today. I was hoping to be wowed. I was hoping to be excited more than I was for the previous video that EA put out two weeks ago or a week ago, whenever it was. Uh, as it is, I'm not. I'm pretty disappointed still. So we shall see on Wednesday um, once it's in my hands if it's going to be any better. But anyway, guys, I think I've yapped on enough. Pretty underwhelmed by it. Not excited, really, to be honest with you. Uh, we shall see on Wednesday. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to you know thumbs up. If you don't like the video thumb down if you don't give that then i don't know how to improve the videos so yeah just my honest opinion don't hate me too much uh, i was just hoping for a lot more so yeah take it easy guys all the best i'll see you on the next one cheers guys